it's adjacentnewland.com. Uh, this is another edition or another installment or chapter or video of uh, hypno chats. A mixture of chat and hypnosis. So generally I talk a little bit about what's gone on for me this week. So I do these every week. Um, this is now the third one. So I'll talk a little bit about how my week's been and then I uh, lead into a hypnosis session. The sessions normally last about 40 minutes. Uh, there may well be background sound, uh, so it's fine. That's just the way it is. Uh, it's a lovely office where I am. I've got a lovely client in the background, and as you can see in the distance, there's a lovely bottle of water. Um, that's nice. And uh, just there, right, that's a chair. But at times it can look like it's the background wall as well. Kind of an illusion. And um, this is me, my name's Jason. How you doing? Um, relaxing. Just, uh, I wish Jordan would do these sessions because if I was work, the way I'm working, I've got a, this is a, this is my um, break time during the, during the day, and um, I think I'm kind of laying down a little bit, got my feet up, and I do get a little bit tired, but ultimately I'm not that particularly tired really. So I've just actually made a video. Uh, I've done another. Um, hypnosis challenge and I've done a version of um, you know try and stay awake I did a another version of that but without any background music so I, I thought I'd just I'd do another one just for some fun because that, that video is the most popular video I've got but it is just a bit of fun you know uh, the hypnosis is still real hypnosis but it was just challenge, you know, I think that that people quite enjoy it, so I want to do another one. So, this week, this week, well today, I'm feeling alright today, you know, I had I felt I was getting a bit stressed at work this week. Um, to the point of, I think it's because of, because I'm quite busy, you know, I'm working all day, I haven't had an opportunity really to do much in the way of exercise, I was running out of money as well, which was a bit stressful. Um, and I've now kind of become just, just, this is a, it's not even like a permanent thing, but I've become one of the top sellers at the, at the place, um, just, just for the month so far. Um, and I guess there's people who talk about that. I'm not the top, but I'm like one of the ones. And there comes a question, sort of, how important is that to me? Does it really, do I really care? And on some ways, I don't really. I, mean, I care if it gives me more money at the end of the month, which it will, or the end of next month, rather. Um, but the glory, the glory of it, it's entertaining, in a way, you know, sort of. It's nice to feel that uh, I'm good at something, and to have that recognition, I guess. 
um, I prefer it for this stuff that I do, which I do get recognition, you know, but maybe not the kind of recognition that, that I deserve. God damn it. But, so I'm kind of just with that stuff. I'm starting to realize that there's parts of my life that I've not, that I've not been given any time to uh, since I started that job. One is uh, Taekwondo. I haven't Taekwondo. I haven't. Um, that wasn't so much because of the work, but because my back, my, my lower back was hurting. So I kind of stopped doing it for a while, but then I got in the habit of just going straight from work to home and haven't really been doing any exercise for a few weeks now, a couple of months in fact. And I started looking at the Taekwondo and I, you know, I did three gradings, been doing it for a year and a half, coming up to two years, it'll be probably about three months. I think it started in May, May or June, uh, 2011, that would have been, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, so, I'm on my fourth belt from when I started, and I kind of think, oh, I wish I was doing that again, I wish I kind of missed that, you know, I still do some of the moves and practice some of the stuff at home, but... There's not a lot of room there. And another thing that I've noticed, not that I've noticed, but I've kind of, someone says something today that reminded me, and I do, you know, um, is my Buddhism, my Buddhism. I've been involved in Buddhism for, well, yeah, for, since I was, yeah, about 20 years actually. You know? Or reality, more than that, uh, really probably since I met my friend Duncan, who was a Buddhist, when I was 18, and I'm now 42, so yeah, about 24 years, but I didn't really get into it until I was sort of my early 20s, maybe 22, 23, and I was really buying lots of books and stuff, trying to learn to meditate, doing it all on my own really, never met another Buddhist apart from my friend, and then... I really got into it 2002 in November, uh, so it's nearly 10 years. No, it's over, t wow, it's over 10 years. I didn't realise, well, yeah, sorry, so, so it's over 10 years I've been involved, um, and I was involved with a Buddhist group where I was meditating regularly. I made lots of made quite a few friends who were Buddhists. Um, some, quite a few of them, were, have been ordained or were ordained when I met them, and others that have been ordained since I met them. I've seen, I've been to a Buddhist funeral, and I've been um, to a Buddhist wedding. Uh, since my involvement, I've worked in two Buddhist shops. You know, worked for two Buddhist organised event shops, um, which are evolution shops, and I lived in a Buddhist community for two and a half years, um, living with other Buddhists. So, been quite involved. Uh, I asked for ordination back in about two years ago, and but the last year, I've had hardly any. Pretty much since April or May or June time, I've hardly been there because I had a chest infection. The, the centre that is, I've had a chest infection, so I was just coughing the whole time. And then since the chest infection, I've still been coughing uh, due to stomach problems. Um, and it's I kind of lost contact with that, that side of my life. And I think sometimes, in a way, doing the, the selling is easier without the Buddhism because then I haven't got the, the ethics kind of 
I mean, I've still got ethics, but I think it's uh, Buddhist ethics. I think it's easier for me to kind of ignore some of it when I'm uh, aiming to get a sale. You know, although I'm not not um, by any means being unethical or bad or being misleading or anything. I'm just focused. If that's that's the problem. I'm smiling, but I am focused when I do it. I am a very focused person, generally. So I find, I kind of thinking my life has been a bit, the last few months, and I think it had to be, I had to concentrate on my job so I could learn, still so much to learn, still don't know, I know what I'm doing, but I'm still, you know, so much to learn. And then working as a counsellor on a Monday, that's sort of been, made me busy. And I've had one day off a week. Um, so I'm just starting to reevaluate the situation because I'm about to be thinking about taking on some further education. Um, something I wanted to do for a long time. But I'm thinking it might be a bit too much right now to take on anything else. I think work, working six days a week doesn't leave me with a lot of room to take anything else on, especially considering I'm doing the hypnosis stuff as well, online, website building, promotion, and everything else that I do there. It's really weird I'm talking to you, but the couple of seagulls are fighting. They're like, honestly, it's like a, two planes like fighting each other. The thing is, I wonder if this trying, like, one's trying to have sex with the other one. I mean, how are they going to do that in the sky? It'd have to be really quick. It's a bit like, I don't know, like cats that chase each other and stuff. Because they want to have a bit, get a bit of tail. <laughs> so, it's really funny seeing cats playing hard to get. You know, they so want it because obviously it's, they're on heat and that's their nature to get pregnant and stuff. They still play it hard to get, still still give the other cat a bit of hassle. Like, bend over really like, and then moving away when the cat comes to them. It's like, such teases. Cats are such teases. So, uh, not that I study cats, but I do notice these things. So I was <laughs> moving away from that subject. So I guess there's, uh, I'm now starting to think of how can I make my life a bit more even, you know? From the spiritual side of things, how can I maybe get a bit more of that back into my life? And also, from the physical side of things, uh, how can I get that back into my life? You know the the <laughs> the violence. I need to, I need to be punching and kicking things and people. <laughs> um, so I, I'm going to look at doing that. If I can't get back into taekwondo um, due to the times, I try to look at the times, but it's hard to. Cause I can't finish on time because if I want to call. And that's it, I've got to be on the course so it finishes. Um, so I might look at doing, going back to doing Wing Chun again. So I should do Wing Chun for about a year or so, um, quite a few years back. I had my rib cracked. Um, and someone elbowed me in a rib. So I go back to that. Um, but a few injuries over the years. But I'd like to do some, I like martial arts. I've been doing martial arts for years, different ones I've done. But I think when I started off when I was a kid, when I was about 14, I did kickboxing. Then I did karate for a couple of years. Then did a bit of boxing. You know, only a little bit then. And then I did, when I was in London, I did praying mentis kung fu. And then, what else? I 
then I did, went back and did a bit of karate. Then I did jiu-jitsu. Then I did Wing Chun for a while. Then I went into boxing for quite for about a year as well. Just doing the same. And now I've come and done... Uh, I did Prime Mentis twice, so I went back a few years later. And then I do uh, um, Taekwondo. So I do miss the boxing, but I injured myself doing that. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do something like that. I like, I like, the, I like those kinds of, of uh, sports. Because they're fun. I'm not so into the kicking, though. That's weird. I kind of, I like, do like punching. So I did really like boxing. Um, yeah. So that's, I just need to get that balance. It needs to be something. Even if it's aerobics or something like that, it'd be just, you know, I want to get fit, lose some weight. Um, just get myself nice and healthy, you know. Uh, so I can continue doing this stuff for a long time. I want to be doing this for another 30, 40, 50 years, if I can. I want to be doing this as an old man doing it. I know some of you that are young, 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 probably look at me and think I'm an old man anyway. Especially with my weird hair today. Hip, seriously, I've got really, I'm having a bad hair day. Um, but I'm not that old, I'm 42. So hopefully, when I'm 92, I'll still be doing this way. Now you can feel really relaxed and calm. Remember to let go. And it's just an idea. The thing is, I don't know why, okay, my voice might be different, but will I have a different accent? Because that was a really different accent to the one I've got. Yeah, thinking about it, because I've got a young voice for my age. I don't. It might not come across when you watch my videos because you're seeing my funny, my funny face. But if you hear me on the phone, or if you just you know don't look at the screen and you see my voice, then I've got a much younger voice than my age. And so when I'm seventy probably sound maybe 50 or 40 or 47 and a half I don't know see what I mean so yeah so that's that's where I am this week um, I, I think something what changed was I had a conversation with a friend yesterday and uh, I, I owe some money and he's so good about it and just you know so understanding about my situation and how it's been and it really put my mind at rest, you know, that I kind of get worked up and kind of really just like, I've got to pay that money off, I've got to, you know, and I will pay it off, it's going to happen, but I need to relax as well. It doesn't matter if I'm not a top salesperson or if I'm not even a second top. What matters is, you know, I've got a job, which is good do the job properly, I can, you know, and I can just relax, it doesn't matter, ultimately, you know, if I get a £400 bonus, or if I get a £700 bonus, it doesn't matter, it's just, you know, obviously it's nicer to get £700 or, you know, £900 bonus uh, for the month, but it doesn't matter, 400 is fine, 500 is fine. You can just relax. The internet stuff growing all the time. You know. So I'm doing alright, actually. So I'm not, but that one, I'm not going to do another video on gratitude. Because I did one before, so I've done that. But I'm feeling a bit more positive towards the current future. You know? The. the the near future, as in, within a year I will have paid my debts off, even if I don't pay it as much as I was intended to pay per month, within a year it will be done, 
So this time next year, by spring next year, it'll be done. All the debts will be paid. And then I can look at maybe finding myself somewhere nice to live. Some, you know, somewhere where it's quiet, not that it's noisy where I am, but it's somewhere just where I can maybe build a life for myself. Maybe I can meet someone nice who, you know, wants to be with me. Maybe I need to have a slimmer face. The thing is that the camera, my face looks huge. Have I always had a big head? Do you just like... I mean, look. This is my body. It's my shoulders. My, I suppose you can see where my shoulders are. You don't need me to... But do I look? Because I know I'm at an egg like... But it's not, you know, it's quite firm. I don't feel like it's, like I've got just these, a jaw just like hanging down, like one of those um, dogs. You know, the dogs with like the jaws. So it's all dogs that got jaws, but you know. So I don't, I don't know. Like, oh, that's a bit shaky, isn't it? Well, I tend to actually, I have, I have a, become more vain, and there's, there's really le very little to be vain about. Strange. That's it. I'm going to relax again. Okay. So, basically, the point I'm trying to make, if there's no point really, I'm just feeling that I'm going to take the pressure off myself a bit. Do what I can. I'll do it in the time that I can. You know, I can relax. I'm not gonna leave myself short anymore. The last few months, I keep leaving myself short of money. Well, I just literally run out of money because I've paid off a load of stuff. You know, when I get paid, uh, I'm not gonna do that anymore. Uh, yeah, the debts will take a little bit longer to pay off, but I need to have cash available. Need to be able to sort of buy food and do all that stuff. So yeah, that's why I'm looking at maybe trying to balance my life out. I, I miss. I haven't read anything for ages. I'd like to read more because at the moment I seem to be spending time on the internet or watching DVD, you know, like bo box sets of TV shows. So at the moment I've been watching. Um, uh, Spartacus I love Spartacus it's just love that show love it love it love it um, I do get a bit addicted to these shows because I watch them back to back um, I've just downloaded the last six set episodes of The Office the US Office um, because I watched those back to back I think eight series eight seasons back to back I watched um, and it was sort of just before Christmas. It took me a while, it took me about two months. But I love it. And then suddenly it was over and I really missed it. Um, and the same thing happened with uh, Spartacus as well, because I just ran out of episodes. And uh, I have to wait till next week till the next one comes out. So, yeah. So, um, I'm just waffling really, aren't I? But that's what's going on for me. Uh, another thing that's quite that's important is my nan's not well. She's uh, taking a turn for the worst. And she's 94 years old, and so she's, you know, she's, she's old. Um, so basically she's the old age, but she's not, not doing so great, so I'm just going to... I was sort of a bit, a bit, yeah, a little bit worried about that. I just don't want her to suffer. Um, that's my main, my main concern is just, I don't like seeing anybody suffer. I think it's, it's horrible seeing someone suffering. I'm sure you agree. So.
sein. At this point, I've normally started the hypnosis session and I normally at least know what I'm going to talk about. But, I don't know. What can I talk about? What hypnosis session can I do? What ending can I have? I'm thinking gratitude again, but again, that's, 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 I can't do this, that again. I'm trying to get an, an idea of what the, the sense is that I'm having at the moment. The emotions, the feelings. And it's, I think acceptance. Accepting, accepting the situation as it is, but also relaxing into the situation. Maybe letting go, letting go of the need to please others and letting go of the need, which we put last last, last week's session, but letting go of pressure. Letting go of the pressure of just generally the life, letting it go and just relaxing and just doing what's needed. But ultimately, I guess it's about being kind to myself. doing more of the things that will give me pleasure, that will balance my life, and also being kind to myself by not stressing over things that don't need stress, really, they don't need worrying over, because things will turn out okay. So being kind to myself, being kind to yourself. So if you haven't already closed your eyes, you can do that if it's safe to do so. I'll just talk for a while. As you know, just by listening to my voice, can Cause you to feel relaxed naturally in a way that feels calming, calming to your mind and to your life, causing changes to naturally happen. Easily. And in a way that may surprise you just how easily and simply change will occur in its own time. When you open your mind to the possibilities the endless possibilities of just knowing that you deserve to be kind to yourself. You deserve to remember that sometimes all you ever really need is simple kindness. And just how easily that kindness
this can transform the way you feel now. In a positive way, naturally and easily. These feelings of kindness that you present to yourself really do have an effect of both positivity and feelings of filled with choices, choices that you can make a difference to your own life by choosing to be kind to yourself. same time, you can let go let go and realize that some of those things that you used to be concerned about really weren't worth the effort or the energy that at that time you were expelling in order to keep some kind of sense normality can change dependent upon how you feel now positive, happier, more alert to your own options, more aware of knowing But when you focus, really focus, on your whole life, you know giving yourself the permission to be kind be kind to yourself Trust yourself and I wonder how that feels as you can test this feeling right now. Feeling of 
just being kind to yourself in this very moment. person that you wish to be. Enjoy being you. changes stick. But now, as you get more in touch with these feelings that you experience, Get in touch with who you really are. Be more of who you really are. Knowing that with each passing day, just 
who you are, but also who you will be in time. Allow you to become more comfortable with your own being, with your body, with your looks, your weight, your job. of acceptance, but also remembering that you can change things if you decide. Giving you self-determining to make your own choices and your own decisions based on being kind to yourself so you could ask yourself the question what is it that I need right now. What is it that I need right now? And then you can set your unconscious mind to work for you. decided to be kinder to yourself, to no longer judge the person who you are, forgiving and accepting yourself may seem like an unusual thing to do. So what's going on, who you are, what you're saying, what you're experiencing. Remember to be kind to yourself. brings us to the end of this session. You can open your eyes when you decide. And I'll be doing another Hypno Chats next week. 
please leave a message.